Welcome to Agriculture Academy, thank you for supporting our channel where we lift the veil of mystery on all things agriculture. In this video, we are going to show you how to grow Cape Thatching Reed. This plant is a member of the Restionaceae family and is also known by its scientific name, Elegia tectorum. Stay tuned until the end of the video for your own copy of our ebook that has all this information for you. This plant is an extremely popular ornamental in gardens and urban plantings, so it could be a great option to grow in a nursery. Cape thatching reed is adapted to grow in many soil conditions, as long as they are well drained. The best way to grow the reed is through seed, and we are going to show you exactly how you can do it. First, you are going to need to source some seed from a reputable retailer. The seed are so tiny that 10,000 of them weigh only 1 gram, so be sure to handle your seed carefully. Studies have shown that the seed respond very well to pre-sowing treatments with smoke paper. Simply soak your seed in the smoke water for 24 hours before you start sowing them. If you would like more info on how to use the smoke paper, check out the video in the link below. Once your seed have soaked, remove the excess water, and leave your seed in a sunny spot to evaporate the rest. Do not throw away the smoke water, instead pour it into a spray bottle and save it for later. While you wait for your seed to dry, you can prepare your planting trays. We are sowing 20 grams of seed and ended up needing approximately 51 trays. We filled them with a mix of 40% peat, 40% coir and 20% vermiculite. One of the main issues that comes with sowing very small seed is evenly distributing them into your trays. In another video, we show you some tricks for sowing small seeds evenly. We followed the same method for these seeds by using a piece of paper that has been folded and stapled to make a funnel-like envelope. You can find the link to this video in the description. We recommend pouring small quantities of seed into your envelope at a time and gently shaking the seed into the trays. It is better to sow less seed and move over your trays more often as opposed to making only one pass over your trays. This will also help with the even seed distribution. Once you have sown your seed, keep the trays under a mist system. Spray the leftover smoke water over your trays to get the most out of it. If you do not have a greenhouse or automatic system, then you can wrap some cling film over the surface of your trays. Whatever you do, make sure the trays are kept moist, but not waterlogged or dried out. Once your seed have germinated, you can transplant them into trays with individual cells and from there into plastic bags. And that's how easy it is to grow cape thatching reed from seed. Thanks for watching and remember to check out the link in the description for your copy of our ebook. See you all next time.